In Eastern culture, the long is regarded as an auspicious mythical creature and a supernatural being. In 1934, the media captured images of a fallen long for the first time. This mysterious creature, previously existing only in myth and legend, suddenly appeared in Yingko, Liaoning, China, causing an unprecedented sensation. In early August 1934, the Shengjing Times published a shocking report. On July 28, a long fell from the sky in Yingko, overturning three small boats, damaging factory buildings, causing nine deaths, and derailing a train at the station. A few days later, the Shengjing Times followed up with an illustrated report on the discovery of a long's remains in Yingko. This news caused a huge sensation. Do longs really exist? What does a real long look like? Thousands of people flocked to Yingko to find out, leading to a sharp increase in train ticket prices to Yingko, making them extremely hard to get. In fact, the Yingko Long Fall Incident of 1934 referred to three sightings of a real long within a month. Even more astonishing, the long that fell during the first two incidents was alive. In early July 1934, People were astonished to discover a live long in the upper reaches of Tianzhuang Tai in Yingko. The long's fall location was only 20 kilometers from the estuary. Witnesses described the long as matching the image of longs in traditional paintings, with four claws and scales, two long whiskers on its mouth, prominent eyes, and a body length of about 10 meters. According to the recollections of Xiao Sukin, she was only nine years old that year. Upon hearing that a live long had been discovered in the upper reaches of Tianzhuang Tai, her father immediately drove a horse-drawn carriage to take her to the location of the long's fall. When they arrived, many people had already gathered around the long. Her father placed her on horseback and held her up to see. She saw that the long had a square head and large eyes that blinked continuously. Its body was grayish-white curled up on the ground with its tail coiled, and two claws extended from its abdomen. She was most impressed by how weak the long appeared, with its eyes half open and slightly red. Some people said that the long was lying on the ground because the weather was too hot and it had no strength. So, people spontaneously built a canopy to shade the long and poured water over it to cool it down. The locals believed that a long descending from the heavens was a sign of good fortune. Consequently, many villagers and monks performed rituals and prayers for the long in temples, the activity that continued for several days. Then, after a heavy rainstorm, the long mysteriously disappeared. On July 28, 1934, a long appeared in the sky over Yingko. This long moved up and down in the air. When it could no longer ascend, it fell, overturning three small boats, damaging a factory building, causing nine deaths, and overturning a train parked at the station. After that, the long disappeared without a trace. In 2004, the media interviewed several eyewitnesses from that time. According to the recollections of Kai Shukong, Huang Zenfu, and Zhang Shengxi, at around 5 p.m. that day, they were playing outside when Kai Shukong suddenly noticed a long in the sky in the direction of Yingko Paper Mill. He immediately informed Huang Zenfu, Zhang Shengxi, and Kao Yuan. For about 10 seconds, they saw a gray long writhing in the cloudy sky, moving like a snake. Its head resembled that of a bull, with two straight horns. It had whiskers around its mouth and two long feelers, large protruding eyes, a body about 10 meters long covered in scales, four claws like those of a crocodile, and a tail resembling that of a carp. On August 8, the long reappeared before people. This time, it lay horizontally in a reed bed 10 kilometers from the mouth of the Liao River, but it was no longer alive, it was a foul-smelling carcass. According to eyewitness Yang Yishun, two or three days before the long bones were discovered, he heard adults saying that there were always crackling sounds in the reed marshes, along with deep, bovine-like moans and sounds of struggling. Eventually, 
The noises stopped. By August 8, after several days of continuous heavy rain had ceased, a north wind blew, and the air was filled with a strong stench. A worker named Lou followed the smell and discovered a large area of fallen reeds. Upon parting them, he saw a massive dead animal carcass, which frightened him so much that he ran home and fell seriously ill. After hearing about it, people went to see it in groups and reported it to the government at that time. At that time, the relevant authorities invited experienced fishermen to identify the creature, but no one recognized the body of this monster. Ma Zichin, a renowned doctor from Yingko, had seen the skeleton with his own eyes. His son, Ma Guoxiang, recalled his father saying that when the monster's skeleton was discovered, the flesh had not completely decomposed, and scales were scattered around, resembling the legendary long. Other experts also generally believed it to be a long. Subsequently, local police organized manpower to disassemble the long skeleton and transport it to an open area in front of the West Customs, where it was reassembled for public viewing. During the transport, two large baskets were filled with scales that had fallen from the body. On August 12, 1934, the Shengjing Times reported that the long had claws and, upon falling, had dug a pit nearly 17 meters long and over 6 meters wide with its claws, indicating that the long struggled before it died. In the continuous coverage by the Shengjing Times, it was last mentioned that the Long's remains were ultimately placed at the southern campus of Yingko Normal School for preservation as a specimen. Regrettably, however, due to the ensuing wars and chaos, the whereabouts of this massive Long skeleton eventually became unknown. Regardless of the era, there have always been some sightings of Long's recorded. In modern accounts of Long sightings, the incident of Long scales falling in Zaidita village, Zaidi to town, Beichen district, Tianjin city, in July 1998 stands out for its substantial evidence. According to the villagers' recollection, it was an evening in July 1998 when everyone was outside enjoying the cool breeze. Suddenly, a black cloud floated over, thunder roared, and raindrops as big as beans hit the body, which was very painful. Just as everyone was preparing to head home, Someone exclaimed, look, what's that? Everyone looked up to see a gigantic long claw in the sky, dark red in color, constantly moving. The rain had stopped, but the long claw remained in motion. A villager quickly took out a video camera to capture the scene. About half an hour later, suddenly a heavy rain began pouring down, accompanied by thunder and lightning, illuminating the entire sky. A gigantic long appeared, terrifying everyone present. As a deafening thunderclap resounded, the long vanished, but something seemed to fall from its body. After the rain ceased, villagers searched in the direction where it fell and discovered six large, deep red scales with a burnt and fishy smell. What was even more peculiar, next to the scales, they found a turtle approximately 80 centimeters in diameter, instilling fear in the villagers. About three hours later, several experts and staff from Tianjin TV arrived at the scene, interviewed the villagers, and reviewed the video. The experts looked at each other, and finally said hastily that it was a natural phenomenon and left, taking the turtle with them, and buying the villagers' camera and video at a high price. The village then held a ceremony to worship the heaven. There was no further official response to the incident. In legend, longs not only soar through the sky but also possess the ability to summon storms, their forms ever-changing and unpredictable. Where do these longs, which descended to the earth, truly come from? In our understanding, flying creatures typically have wings or gliding membranes. Yet, how do longs, without wings and with their massive bodies, navigate the skies freely? This remains an unsolved mystery.